three basic hair drawing methods that I use, I think this is arguably the most important. So what I've got here is an HB, a 2B, and a 2H. Okay, so we'll start with the 2B. So we'll just have a go at a single lock. Now you can draw an outline if you want to, it might help actually because it'll give you a curve to follow. Um, with practice you can probably, uh, probably don't need to do that, but we'll have a go. There's our lock. So every line, remember, every line has to be tapered. That means that every line has to come down to the paper with a taper and come off. Okay, so it's a taper, a taper, a taper. Learn to do them in both directions. Right, I'm not putting any pressure on here. This is a 2B on Conqueror. This is basically negative drawing. Remember that the marks that you make are the gaps between the hairs. The white gaps in between the lines are the hairs. Okay. Leave a few gaps. All right. The gaps are the hairs. That's one end. Now, when you're drawing this end, keep that end in your peripheral vision so that when you're heading up here, you know where you're going. All right. And of course, you've got the outline here to help you. Let's just build that up a little bit. Now you see already the gaps that are beginning to get filled are beginning to look like muted highlights within the dark end. You don't have to go in two directions, you can just go in one direction, it doesn't matter. Right. There's no, no need for speed, I'm just used to doing this. So. Incidentally, I'm used to doing this upside down because I tend to demonstrate this at all my workshops when I'm working from the other side of the drawing board. Right, now we'll start to extend it. We're heading in towards the center there. Every layer is drawn a little bit lighter and goes a little bit further. I started with a reasonably sharp point, but now that that's worn off, I'm quite happy to use the flat face. I don't need that level of detail in the center. Right, you'll reach a point where the 2B is beginning to look a bit grainy. So we'll change from 2B to HB. HB has more clay in the mix, so it draws with a smoother finish. And we'll gradually Extend that further and further towards the highlights. Every layer is just a little bit. Look for happy accidents as well, by the way. There's a white hair just appearing there. I rather like that, so I'm going to make a bit, bit more of it. Every line starts right back here. Right. You're reinforcing that end all of the time. Finally, begin to reach a point where the HB is beginning to look grainy. And we're heading towards the highlight. So we'll change to a 2H. Whether you leave the center white or not, it's up to you. See, every line tapers 
And every line begins right back at the beginning. So you're layering and layering and layering at this dark end. And those gaps that you left initially now look like muted highlights disappearing into the shade. And we'll gradually begin to fade these lines out now. I'm not going to leave the center white in this case, but I'm going to leave it very light. That little happy accident there, I think we'll make a bit more of that. Because if I can get a split to go right the way through, that will increase the intensity of the highlight in the center. Now don't forget as well that in this sort of situation, we've got a fairly dark hair. Between this lock of hair and the next what lock of hair, there's almost certainly going to be a dark shadow in there. There's a gap between the two. So use that to your advantage. The dark values in this gap increase the intensity of the highlight in the center. Why? Simply because there is far more contrast. That should disappear. I think that goes underneath, so we'll push that back. We'll let that come out from underneath and come up into the light. That was an HB. Let's try a 2B on this side. You taper every line, you can draw in sections, it doesn't have to be drawn from one end to the other, as long as you taper the ends of your lines. <sighs> right, we'll leave it at that for the moment. I just seem to have nicked into that, so get a bit of blue tack, pinch a bit of a an edge on it, and we'll just take that out. You can always clean up with blue tack, no problem at all. And just reinforce that a bit, just dull it down slightly. Every line that you draw has to look as though it goes from one end to the other. Okay, so if you go off at an angle, even worse, if you just stop dead, it no longer conforms to what we expect the hair to look like. And you'll just ruin the reality of your work. For more helpful drawing tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and explore all the videos with me at drawwithmike.net.